All right, in this video, we're multiplying a couple of fractions, and these look like kind of nasty fractions. We've got numbers, we've got x's, we've got y's, we've got z's, we've got negative exponents. Uh, we have things that make some algebra students tremble with fear, but not us. We are fearless. So, uh, and over here to the right, I've written some uh, uh, exponent identities, things that we should always keep in mind when manipulating uh, uh, problems like this. So, to start, I think that what we ought to do is we ought to look at our numbers, okay? We've got 16, we've got 5 to the negative 1, which we know to be 1 fifth. We've got 2 to the negative 2, which we know to be 1 over 2 squared, that's 1 fourth. We've got 9 here. So let's just rewrite this and say, this is 16, and we'll deal with the variables in just a second. 16 times 1 fifth over 9 times 1 fourth, okay? And remember, when you're multiplying fractions, all you have to do is just multiply across in the numerator, multiply across in the denominator, simplify, and you can even do that in whatever order you want to. So now we've dealt with our numbers. Let's take a look at our exponents now. Um, we've got, and I'm going to go ahead and do this in, uh, in two steps. We've got x to the fourth times x cubed, that's x to the 4 plus 3, that's 7, over x to the fifth times x, that's x to the 5 plus 1, that's x to the sixth. Okay? And now we've got, uh, let's look at our y's. y cubed times y to the negative 3, that's y to the 3 minus 3 is y to the 0 power, and that's just 1. And that's over, now what do we have here? We have yz to the negative 2. Well, that's just the same as saying y to the negative 2 times z to the negative 2. Okay? So this is y to the negative 2 power times y to the 1 power. That's y to the negative 2 plus 1. That is y to the negative 1. And our z's, we have z to the ninth times z to the negative 1. That's z to the 9 minus 1 z to the 8th over z to the negative 2 times z to the negative 5. That's z to the negative, negative 2, I'm sorry, z to the negative 2 plus negative 5, negative 7. Okay. Oh, this, this, this isn't all that hard at all. This is, is going to be a piece of cake. 16 times 1 over 5, that's 16 fifths. 9 times 1 over 4, that's 9 fourths. Okay? x to the 7th divided by x to the 6th, that is x to the 7 minus 6, that is x to the 1 power. 1 over y to the negative 1, okay? Well, let's think about this. 1 over y to the negative 1 is like saying 1 over y to the negative 1 power. So that means we're going to take the reciprocal of 1 over y, which is just y. That's one way to think about it. Another way of thinking about it is, let's go back and call this 1 y to the 0. So we've got y to the 0 divided by y to the negative 1. 0 minus negative 1 is 1, so we have y to the 1 power. z to the 8 divided by z to the, to the negative 7th, aha, uh -huh, is z to the 8 minus negative 7. That's z to the 8 plus 7. 8 plus 7 is 15. So this is simplifying very nicely. Uh, 